What's going on, guys? Speedy here from Complex right now, and I'm joined by Mo Bamba. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Doing well. So good, first good. and foremost, I imagine this is the day you've dreamed of your entire life. You're wearing your own jersey with your name on the back, and it's real. Yeah. How does this feel? It feels great. You know, um, this is actually an event that I've watched a couple of times just to see like the funny things on, and to finally be a part of it is a little crazy. Before we actually even talk basketball, obviously you and Shaq West, good friends. Um, I saw you were at Dykeman the other day. We were up there as well. Give us the backstory behind the song Mo Bamba. When did you hear it for the first time? So I heard it for the first time when I was a senior in high school. So, you know, you can't, you can't, my rule is you can't leave high school without a song about you if, you, if you're a good basketball player. And I thought I deserved one. But uh, I hit up Sheck. Sheck was a guy who, like, not a lot of people know his background, but Sheck was a basketball player. He led the city in assists. Really, he was real. And then, yeah, he was real. He's whack now, but he's real. he was real. <laughs> he modeled for a little bit, and then um, he started rapping. And then as soon as I started, I heard that he started rapping. I was like, yo, you gotta, first of all, let me hear some of your music. I wanna like, you know, be able to support my boy. And I heard his music, I liked it a lot. And then I was like, you gotta make me a song, bro. You gotta have, you gotta have a song with just my name in a verse. That's all I want, is my name in a verse. And then he comes back to me a couple of days later, like super quick, yo, I made this. He sends me the audio file and it's titled Mo Bamba. And I'm like, bro, I didn't need the whole song retitled Mo Bamba, I just needed a verse. But I heard it and I love this since day one. And not a lot of people were liking it at first, but I would always play it in a weight room, I would always play it in the gym, and then as time went on, people started really realizing, like, yo, this is a banger. Honestly speaking, when this song first came out, I don't think people, it was really hitting for people, and now it's kind of taken on this life of its own, where when it drops in the club, yeah. it's lit. Oh, yeah. What does that mean to you to hear people just scream lyrics that mean something, uh, that mean you? It means a lot. Not a lot of people, nah, not at all, I love it. Not at all people would have any background of like what the song like actually like is, but when Sheck was like in the, in the music, he's referring to himself and he's referring to me, and like there's a there's a correlation between me and him as far as like different industries. But it's a cool song, and I'm happy to to be a part of it. Who's someone that you're ready to match up against right now? The date is circled. You've been waiting to hoop against this guy for a while. Who who, who is it? I've been waiting to hoop against LeBron. You know, simply because he's the best. And not a lot of people can say they hooped against Kobe. Not a lot of people can say they hooped against Jordan. And to be able to step on the same floor and, and lace them up against LeBron is going to be pretty special for me. Uh, best case scenario world, what's your stat line after your rookie year? Oh, man. Stat line? I don't care what my stat line is. As long as we win in and we're in the playoffs, I'm going to be happy. Mo, appreciate your time. Good luck this season, bro. All right, you, bro. Yep.